Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay this morning. Um, on this cold morning, I don't like the cold. Um, um, as you get ready to, some of you all are off for for the holiday week, which is which is cool. You know, it's Thanksgiving week. You know, as we prepare for um, for Thanksgiving and to to spend time and fellowship with our loved ones, which is something we really should be doing every day, right? But um, you know, Thanksgiving is one of those days uh, that families come from near and far to to get together. So that is definitely happening this week, and. Um, I hope that you guys are, you know, I, I have to say I'm excited, you know, as I have my stuff prepared to uh, cook for Thursday, you know, to uh, to take to my mom's house because, um, you know, we, we we chow down on Thanksgiving. OK, we, we have some really, really good stuff as my family, you know, get together. And, you know, I think about, you know, even though there are many families that are getting together, um, there are those times of the holidays, you know, that when we start to really miss miss those loved ones that are no longer with us, you know, rather um, they naturally left us or somebody decided to play God and and strip them away from us. And it brings me to uh, take off. You know, I think about young Dolphin last year. He was killed on the 17th. That was about a week or so before Thanksgiving uh, ripped his family's world upside down. They decided to, they allowed their jealousy, a bunch of dudes in Memphis allowed their jealousy and outside of Memphis, they used to live in Memphis that has residents on the outside of Memphis. They decided to allow their jealousy to override logic. And they sent a bunch of dime store hoods out with hopes of getting whatever money and deals or whatever they had promised them. Um, but this year it proves uh, God has proven that he is God and it has backfired on them and, and kind of flipped on them. That's, that's usually what happens because wrong and, and evil can never override right and good. Right. And so I was sitting here this morning as I was preparing to uh, go out on my, my last assignment, y'all know I've, I've been, I've been talking about my assignment. Now, I don't normally like, you know, going out of town on assignments in the cold, but my clients put me up in a five-star presidential suite. So, I um, I've been enjoying it so much. I was like, well, shit, I hell, it's like a vacation. I can't, I can't wait to to leave my post to get back to the, to the hotel room. And so as you know, I was thinking about as I was meditating this morning, I was thinking about takeoff and this being the week of um, of, of, of Thanksgiving. And he was stripped away from his fans and especially from his family on November the 1st and of this year, which is a, a few weeks ago. And, and Thanksgiving and holidays and birthdays would never be the same for his family, his immediate loved ones and friends ever again. You know, it does not get, it It never gets better, you know, um, or the hurt never leaves. It just gets a little easier as time goes on. But Takeoff was a young man, uh, 28 years old, didn't get the opportunity to make 30, was not bothering anyone. And somebody decided that they was going to take his life. It was definitely an assassination. Nobody could ever make me believe that somebody hit three times and killed execution style was a accident. OK, maybe one time could have been friendly fire, but three times he was a target. Is his case going cold? Uh, you don't hear Houston Police Department saying anything um, about it. There have been no updates, as I said before, just based on the police chief and um, his actions, you know, and how he was considered, the mayor was looking at him when he even talked about going in the direction of maybe trying to get some justice, you know, or saying something about the princess. 
um, the, 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 the mayor, I'll never forget how the mayor kind of looked at him when it looks like he was going in that direction. And I knew at that point that the mayor was more than likely, as we've later found out, was in bed with um, some of these people like the princes and some of these other um, rappers that have money, you know, that could fund their campaigns, um, you know, to help to fund the campaign, um, their campaigns. Because we see now that, that the mayor is very ambitious. He used to be a state representative. OK, the mayor has been caught up in so much corruption that it is ridiculous, even when um, his police department has been found. Uh, to be caught up in corruption. Um, he has vocally, he has boldly talked about how he stood behind his his officers, even in the corruption. So, you know, a person like that, uh, when they're bold enough to uh, speak like that, it is because, um, you know, they just don't care. It is because, you know, they they feel like they have the people bamboozled and they got the right type of people with money behind them um uh to help with their campaigns you know it's like he's playing musical chairs the mayor he was a state representative for 100 damn years and then after i guess he had exhausted everything that he could exhaust such as favors and under the table deals and things of that nature um he went on to become the mayor of of uh houston um, which gives him even more power, especially as it relates to that city and contracts and things of that nature. Um, and he appoints the police chief. So actually, instead of the police chief being over the department, the mayor is really over the department because the police chief has to do what he says to, right? So if he don't, the mayor would just appoint somebody else that will. So actually, it is the mayor that is really controlling that police department because he controls the police chief. Um, they probably are on one accord as it relates to a lot of things uh, that goes on within that police department. Um, he, uh, of course, they have to be. He had to have seen something in him. There had to be like like mindedness as it relates to the corruption, because there is a lot of corruption. That's not hearsay, damn it. I've, I've done, done the research. It, it is so, okay? Um, so when people say, but that's just speculation, that ain't a damn speculation to me because I done found it, okay? So is takeoff's case going cold? That's what it seems like. They're going to allow it to, to go cold until people start kicking up a fuss, Police chief ain't going to do a damn thing if the mayor tell him, don't worry about it. We're going to lay on this and let it go cold. And after that, I have to give it a little while, just like Lil Cam said, I'll be glad when this blow over. Remember when I was looking at his Twitter, he was like, damn, I'd be so glad when this shit blow over. I mean, his attitude just kind of let you know that he did something. And I'm sure Lil Cam got that from some of like people like the police chief, the police mayor. It came from probably Jay Prince Sr. and Jr. who has a connection with the police chief and the mayor. Because that's what politicians say. Then I tell y'all that my dad was an elected official for over 30 years. And so some of the things that politicians say is I remember when stuff used to happen and I would ask my dad, well, what you going to do? Nothing. Let it blow over. And I would say, well, dad, you know, and my dad won't corrupt. So you motherfuckers better get that straight. Excuse my French. But I understand the griminess of it. And I would go, well, you know, dad, they, you know, they putting out, they putting out lies. What, what you on you? We need to, I want, I'm mad. I'm ready to say something. No, it's going to let it blow over. It'll blow over. Just don't say nothing. People going to forget. And that is what is going on. That's the reason why I know a lot of what these politicians, their lingo, their, their, their actions, except for my dad was a dynamite. Okay. He was truly for the people. And so I've been around those that were not for the people, okay? Especially the ones in Memphis. They all, because of my TV show, they all came through my office uh, for interviews and things of that nature, you know? And so when Lil' Cam said, I'll be so glad when this blow over, I said, damn, 
a politician has said that and it has been passed on down to him. That word, be quiet and let it pass over. People gonna forget about it. So that's why it is important not to forget about it. Okay. It's not important. That mayor, it does not have a pristine background. He ain't no good. He ain't got no business being the mayor. Okay. And with him being in bed, it appears, and having a relationship with the princess, I'm sure they put a lot of money, both of them together. And I'm sure Jay Prince Sr. gets a lot of other politicians, I mean, a lot of other celebrities to put a lot of money behind him. Who is he going to take care of? I've been saying that from day one. The first time he did that press conference, go back and look at that video when takeoff was first killed. I said, y'all ain't got no good feeling about this police chief. It's something ain't right. Even before, because I know the lingo of these, these politicians and when it is um, animated, okay? When they're covering, they're trying to cover up something or their, their intentions is to cover up something. I said, I don't have no good feeling, y'all. And folks were saying, well, how you know? You don't, you don't know. I said, all right, I, I know a lot. Before I even know, I, I know. Before I, I even have facts, I know, rather. And then I went and looked and I saw. So it is up to the public not to allow takeoff's case to go cold. And as a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to help y'all out right now. Houston mayors, Houston, Texas mayors race. Okay. It looked like it, it might have just happened this year. Let's see. I wonder if it just happened this year. Because there was a former U.S. Senate named Amanda Edwards that announced her run for mayor. Um, it, it looks like he may have just been reelected. Okay. Let's see. The city of Houston will conduct a general election on Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. Now, let me just say this. Oh, it's coming up in 2023. Okay. This is y'all's opportunity to get him out now unless his 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 he he's term limited and he's not running anymore okay unless he's term limited and he's not running anymore right off the bat i can't see it i i, I don't know cuz i can't read all of this with the election for Mayor, a year and a half away, leaders from various positions have declared that candidacy with their candidates likely to announce in the coming months. The five publicly announced as of now include Texas State Senator John Whitmore, former Harris County Clerk Chris Hollins, former City Council Member Amanda Edwards, Missouri City Police Officer Robin Williams, and Attorney Lee Kaplan. Each candidate has a different background, job title, and vision for the city, but consistently focuses on similar problems that remain the top concern. Houston's current mayor, uh, Sylvester Turner, has been hit with a number of infractures, uh, infracture issues that have garnered fixed, fixed feelings about his final term much like any politician, one year into his second term in 2017, the city was hit by Hurricane Harvey, one of the most devastating hurricanes in Texas history with a total of $125 billion in damages. Turner, Turner did his best to revive the city from a tragic natural disaster that many Houstonians hadn't experienced since Hurricane Rita in 2005. 
while he's created programs, they saying he's created programs and things of that nature. Um, the city's main public system line to better address a functioning city for our residents. So it looks like to me, but Houstonians still want the next mayor to address the same problem they were concerned with from Turner, when Turner's office took um, took office. Okay. Um, so it, it looks like this is his final term. And they're saying that, you know, he has uh, put programs within the city, but hey, you know, uh, you know, that the media could put that out. Maybe he has, but who did he, um, when he, he put programs into the city, oftentimes they would assign like a nonprofit organization or somebody um, to delegate those funds um, to be over those programs. Was that a family member where he got a kickback or something like that? You have to be uh, a friends or whatever. You have to be very meticulous about when they're talking about, well, I'm giving funds to this nonprofit organization or to this organization. I'm putting this person over this project. Uh, uh, and, and we're going to give them this amount of money to put pro for programs within the city. Oftentimes it's somebody that they know and their money is kicked back to their family members some kind of way. Because they'll say, oh, well, we need books or, you know, we need workbooks. And they'll give millions of dollars to somebody for some damn workbooks ain't nobody going to use. But it, the, the workbooks was created by a family member. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Or a friend and the mayor is getting a kickback. OK, so what the Houstonians need to do, because there has been a lot of corruption with this mayor, whoever that mayor gets behind, because it looks like he's not going to run. It might be term limited. Most mayor's positions are. So he's probably exhausted his terms and he cannot run anymore. Whoever he gets behind and pushes, don't vote for him because they are going to have the same agenda. You understand me? Whoever he pushes against might be the person you need to vote for because he's or she's not a part of that system. And in the meantime, we need to get some justice for takeoff. Now, when they start running and takeoff ain't got no justice, that's when everybody start bringing up, what you what you gonna do? You, gonna, you over the police department, we need some justice for takeoff. We need to figure out why all these these young girls, the human trafficking ring is so bad in, in Houston. What you going to do about that? That's when you put pressure on them and then hold their feet to the fire. And if they don't do what they say they're going to do in four years, because I do believe a mayor gets four years, they just don't be reelected. Your ass ain't going back no more. That's all. You're just going to be a damn one term mayor. OK, that's how we're going to get justice in totality. So now when when they really have one term, I mean, he, he's not running anymore, so he don't give a damn. You can't do nothing to him. He probably looking at another position to run for if he ain't filthy rich for, from taking money up on the table. He's he was a representative. He's a lawyer anyways. You can't. The Lord, stop me. I was going to say something about lawyers. OK, you can't trust them. But he was a representative for Alpha. Then he was the mayor. You know, maybe he'll go on to the house because what, you know, he keep doing what he's doing. God going to croak his ass out. OK, when you when you ain't doing right. OK, so is takeoff's case going to be cold? That case can be solved if the people put the pressure on the right people. That mayor is going out. He don't give a damn. He going to protect the princess to the end. He got a damn thing to lose. He don't need to go back and slob on your kids and look in your face and ask you to reelect him for mayor. He don't give a damn what you think. And he going to make that police chief fall in line. Okay. So is takeoff's case going to go cold? It shouldn't. Not with everybody looking at what happened. Them folks know what happened to him. And the police know what happened to him. And they're trying to cover it up. Okay. So justice for takeoff. Okay. Justice for takeoff. And we can't allow his case to go cold. The Houstonians have more power than what they think. Okay. They have more power than what they think. Okay. 
I want you guys to um I want you guys to hit the like button. Okay. I want you guys to hit the like button. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, there, I still have slightly more people that are unsubscribed that are looking at my videos. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you would like to uh, donate to the channel, you could definitely do that via Cash App. I want you guys to know I appreciate you so much. I'll talk with you later.